Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby here in Louisville, Kentucky at St. Stephen Baptist Church with another powerful point to ponder. Yesterday, we began our new series on leadership, and we noticed that um, the first four letters in the word leadership is led. And some people, when it comes to leadership, they're like a hot, a lead balloon, excuse me, a lead balloon. In, in other words, people descend, they regress, they don't progress, they don't ascend. So you have led people who are just in the way, but then you have leaders, leadership, and leadership help people, helps people in groups to ascend and go to new levels. And we're talking about how to be a leader. And this is a lesson this entire week for all of us because all of us are leaders whether we intend to be or not. Leadership is just influence. Whoever you influence, you're leading them. Whoever influences you, uh, they're leading you. That's what leadership is. It's le and, and God is calling for us to be leaders. There is a desperate need for real leaders. And this week we're talking about the things that leaders do. Yesterday we talked about that leaders visualize, leaders uh, uh, mobilize, help for a vision, and then they monetize, they help find the resources. And if you do those three things, visualize, mobilize, don't worry about the monetizing. The money, the money will come. Don't give up on your dream. Don't give up on, on uh, what you've envisioned for your life and for the life of other people. Today I want to talk to you about a very critical part of leadership, something that leaders do, and you're a leader, so you need to do this, thinking. I don't know if you've ever heard a message just on thinking or a sermon just on thinking, but the Bible stresses the importance of thinking. Never ask God what time it is if God has given you a watch. Because if God gives you a watch and you ask God what time it is, why did God give you the watch? That makes you lazy. And never ask God to help you work through a problem if God has given you a mind to think and to analyze on how to work through the problem. God does not want us intellectually lazy. In fact, when Jesus talked about the great commandment, he says, here it is. Mark chapter 12 and verse 30, Jesus says, here's the great commandment. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your what? Your mind. So worship God through thinking. Someone said that nature has given us two ends, a head to think with and a behind to sit down with. Heads you win, tails you lose. If all you do is sit on your behind, you lose. But if you use your head, heads you win, tails you lose. Thinking. Uh, the great Horace Mann, the great philosopher, told his students on one occasion, he said, if here is a wheelbarrow. What is the most important part of a wheelbarrow? Tell me what it is. And one student said, well, it's the wheels, because without the wheels, you couldn't move the barrel. And another student said, no, it's the handle on the wheelbarrow, because without the handles, you couldn't pick up the wheelbarrow. And somebody said, it's the metal tube, it's the, it's the scoop. That metal, because without that metal tube, you couldn't pour dirt and concrete into that wheelbarrow. And, and after each of them said what was the most important part of the wheelbarrow, Horace Mann said, no, it's not the wheels, it's not the handles, it's not the barrel, but what the most important part of a wheelbarrow is, is the blueprint. The blueprint is more important, important the most important part of a wheelbarrow. The, the blueprint is the idea, the conceptualization that gave birth to the wheelbarrow. So that means that if all of the wheelbarrows or the wheelbarrow you have is stolen or it breaks down or it's old, it has to be replaced, 
Manufacturers can make another wheelbarrow. Why? Because they have the blueprint or the idea. When it comes to thinking, thinking is your blueprint. What in your mind you've been thinking about, dreaming about, look, that's what thinking is all about. And everything that you see began with somebody's thinking or an idea that someone was thinking about in their minds. Thinking is critical to being a great leader. Hear me and hear me good. You can never go any higher than your thoughts. You rise or you fall commensurate with the thoughts you have. Great leaders think great thoughts. Thinking. Now, the question is, how do you become a great thinkers? Because thinking is critical to leadership. See, uh, leaders see today what others will see tomorrow. You see today what others will see tomorrow. There's a referendum uh, here in Louisville, Kentucky about uh, something about building new schools in uh, the black community. Well, the superintendent of the school board called me and said, I want to read something that you said, Kevin, 20 years ago about building new schools in the black community that many people were opposed to. And I took a lot of flack about it. But now 20 years later, 25 years later, uh, it's on the ballot and many in the black community are saying, yeah, we do need more schools, new schools in the black community. So people are seeing tomorrow something that I was talking about yesterday, which means that if you're a leader and you're thinking for yourself, there will be times that you will experience loneliness because you're out of step with what other people are thinking. But people will catch up with you, but that's the price you have to pay for being a leader. Leaders are usually out of step with their contemporaries, and that is because leaders have been thinking while most people just go with the flow, do that which is most convenient, and never ask questions. Which leads us to the question, how do I become a better thinker? Here's several ways. One, read. Leaders are readers. Lead, read. Whatever New York Times bestsellers, Amazon.com, read, read, read and take notes and write down ideas. They stimulate you as a thinker. Leaders are readers. Read. Secondly, here's a second way you develop your capacity to think. Read. Secondly, study best practices. As a pastor, what I did to help grow St. Stephen Church as the leader is I went around and saw what the best practices were in church growth. And it didn't matter if they were black or white. They didn't have to be Baptists. I'm a Baptist. I don't care who they are. I wanted to know what the best were doing. And I was able to take someone's tomatoes, another one's lettuce from one church and make my own tall salad. Being a thinker means exposing yourself to the best practices in any area that you want to excel in. That's what it means to be a thinker. You read, you study uh, best practices, and then you learn from your mistakes. Thomas Edison, oh my God, how many of his inventions failed. And Thomas Edison said, no, I was not a failure just because so many of the things that I had been working on failed and didn't work. He said, I was not a failure because I learned what doesn't work. And we become better thinkers by trial and error, which means you just can't sit back and just wait for everything to be perfect. Sometimes you're gonna make mistakes, but you learn from those mistakes. You develop from those mistakes. So how do I become a great thinker? I read, I look at all the best practices, I learn from my mistakes, and then share thinking. Have some mentors. 
interview people, spend some time. Most people don't mind sharing with you the things they've learned, the mistakes they learned. Go around those people who can help you grow. Now, the next time somebody says to you, well, this just came off the top of my head, then see if what's going to come off the top of their head is dandruff. Because when you are a thinker, it just doesn't come off the top of your head except dandruff. When you're a thinker, thinkers read. Thinkers consult best practices. Thinkers learn from their mistakes. And thinkers expose themselves to people who have been thinking, reading, and have been doing it in the field that you're interested in. And if you become a thinker, a great thinker, then you'll begin to visualize. And then once you visualize, you, mob you mobilize. And then once you mobilize, then you'll monetize. And God will send you the resources that you need. You know, Walt Disney, who conceptualized Disney theme park in Orlando, Florida, which was Swampland, but he was thinking about how this Swampland could be transformed. He died several years before the theme park opened up. And someone said to his wife at the dedication of Disney World, they said, oh, if only Walt could see this. And his wife said, he did see it. And that's the reason why we are here. One thing that you can do, you might not have the gifts that other people have, but you can be a thinker. And you are a thinker when you read. You're a thinker when you know and expose yourself to best practices. You're a thinker when you learn from your mistakes. And you're a thinker when you're rubbing shoulders with giants and allow people who have been succeeding in those areas that you want to succeed in to be your mentor. The Bible says, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. If God has given you a watch. Don't ask God what time it is. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word today. And help us to be leaders. Help us to be leaders. This world needs leaders, Lord. So we pray that you will rise, raise up a group of new leaders, <coughs> young and old, regardless of their age. Help us to discover and tap into the leadership that is in us. Forgive us for being so passive. Ignite in us, as a result of this series, a desire to do something great. Life is so short. Don't let us just pass, let life and time pass us by. Help us right now to lead. In Jesus' name, amen. I can't thank you enough for being with us uh, again on this Tuesday for Powerful Points to Ponder. We are exactly seven days before election when we can bring in some new leadership. Well, you can make that happen. Don't forget to go and vote. If you're here in Kentucky and you want to know where you registered to vote or where you turn in, your uh, voter registration form, then go online to govoteky.gov. Govoteky.gov. Uh, God bless your heart. I appreciate you so much. And uh, in our final salutation, you know what it is. Let's say it together. Uh, during COVID-19, uh, stay safe. Stay sane. Stay home if you can and stay ready to make a difference at the polls. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Lead on.